QuickQ version 901 beta has been released with some major new features to the QuickQ software. First off, we now have the unused queue store, which you can access via the menu window, which allows me to drag and drop queues, queue stacks and chases onto my playbacks. This is great for house and worship environments where you can take songs that you're using for a particular service, drag and drop them onto the playback, and when you finish, drop them back into the store. You can also do the same when dragging and dropping onto the queue faders and execute window as well. Back in the home window, we now have support for using all emitters of fixtures. So the color picker will now use all fixture emitters, red, green, blues, amber, limes, UVs. Also on the home window, you'll now notice there's an option for group lines. So you can have from your groups, lines drawn to the individual fixtures to help you identify where they are on the rig and also what their use is. Maybe it's a particular focus position. Also inside the output window, you have a new view inside the output window for sources, which tells you where your lights are being controlled from. So if I activate playback one here, you can see it tells me now main queue stack one and it will tell me the queue number as well. Also in QuickQ version nine, we've added and enhanced the events window to now give you startup and shutdown events. So you can have events happen here and you can have them run when the console starts off or when it's powered off. And we also do time of date based events as well, uh, based off your time zone as well. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can have a queue which says my lights will come on at six o'clock with my local time. There's more features in the QuickView version 9 release. Do take a look at our QuickView change notes and download the version and play with it now.